Hello and welcome to another video review and today it's Superman and the Legions of Superheroes by Jeff Johns and Gary Frank. Check it out. Superman and the Legions of Superheroes by Jeff Johns and Gary Frank. First of all I want to say to me the ultimate Superman guy when it comes to drawing Superman is Gary Frank. Nobody and I mean nobody draws Superman better than Gary Frank. Because, if you look closely here, he draws him just like Chris Reeves. Check it out. He draws him very much like Chris Reeves. That's why I like it. To me, he is the Superman guy. And even apart from the way he draws Superman, I love the art in this book generally. I think the art in this book generally is really cool. Check this out, you know, like really cool art, you know. You know nice, some nice action there, as you can see. So I'm like, I always like Gary Frank as an artist, and to me, no one draws Superman better. Just because of the Clark Kent, sorry, the Chris Reeves thing. So to me, he's a Superman guy. And so basically, one of the advantages of this book is you need to know nothing about Superman, and you can pick this book and get it. Basically, the story is when Superman was younger, he used to have friends come over. This is when he's Superboy around a teenager. He used to have friends come over and from the future, from the 31st century, and visit him. And they used to go on adventures in the 31st century, blah, blah, blah. And these friends were called the Legion of Superheroes. Because basically in the 31st century, a bunch of teenagers are inspired by Superman. And they decide to visit Superman when he was a teenager. And basically during Superman's younger days, he, just, he went around um, having adventures with the Legion. Now they're all grown up and so is Superman. But unfortunately for the legions, they live, the planet Earth has become very xenophobic. They hate foreigners, as in people from outside the planet. And it's a very right-wing dictatorial world these people are living in. So now the grown-up legions decide to go back in time, but meet the grown-up Superman, who's working at the Daily Planet. And they're like, hey, we need help. We live in this horrible world, blah, blah, blah. Only you can help us. So Superman goes back to, the, goes, sorry, to the 31st century. And basically, what happens is the sun's blocked because he's underground or something, and he doesn't have any of his powers. He can only fly because he's been given the ring by the legions. So this is why I like this book so much, because it shows you Superman is Superman without the powers. You know, it's not the powers that makes him who he is. It's that in fact he's willing to stand up for right. It's the personality. That's what makes Superman Superman. It's not the superpowers. Even without the superpowers, he's Superman. And it shows it so well in this book because throughout 90% of this book, Supes does not have his powers. All he can do is fly because he's been given a ring. That's it. And that's why I like this book so much because it, although it has elements of a team book because, you know, it's the Legion, you know. But it's essentially about Superman and how Superman, to me, the Legions are the decorations. To me, this book is Superman doesn't need powers and, and he's still kick-ass, you know. To me, the Legion are just there, you know, in this book. But to me, this is a Superman book. But one of the advantages of this book, as I've said, is you don't need to know anything about Superman or the Legion. You can just pick it up and read it. And I'd say this is actually a great place to start off with Superman. If you're new into comics, I'm like, this is a good place to start off reading a Superman comic. Or if you want to get into the Legions... Start with this, and then maybe Google them or Wiki them, just to see if you like all the characters, you know? I mean, like, I think they do this with quite a few Legion books. Whenever they show people, they say, this is their names and this is their powers. Like, over here, let me show you. Like, whenever some with Legions come, just say, yeah, this is this guy's name, this is his powers. I think they do that in all the Legions books. So, I mean, like, if you're new to Legion, it's a good place to start. If you're new to Superman, it's a good place to start. I love this book because I, I'm a Supers fan. And Superman in this is Superman without the powers. We can all be Superman if we really work hard and willing to stand up to tyranny. So I'd definitely check this book out. Uh, Jeff Johns, one of my favourite writers. Gary Frank, to me, the Superman guy. Brilliant book. Check it out. And I hope you enjoyed this review.